which altcoins should you be buying that can break out this week welcome back guys it's crypto rocko here and in today's video i'll be talking about the big boys bitcoin ethereum litecoin xrp then guys i'll be talking about some of the altcoins that i'm looking at that can potentially break out or that i'll be looking to trade there's a lot of coins today i've got about 16 coins uh, previously guys some of the coins performed really well i mean I've, i keep going on about my litecoin and ethereum trade because they've been really good trades for me but also some of the altcoins that have been that we've been looking at holo chain link has been good in the previous video some of the coins i talked about um that worked well was uh, IOS, IOS worked quite well guys and ONT ontology is a coin that's always been working well so always keep an eye out for that so guys yeah let's get into the video guys just a quick reminder if you haven't subscribed to my channel please give it a subscribe guys I try to provide really good content on old coins that I'm looking to trade again I'm not saying I'm the best trader all I'm saying is I'm very transparent and if you go and watch my video some of the predictions has worked well and I've been do, uh, me and my subscribers have been doing really well so let's get into the video guys and just yeah it's, all, everything I provide is free so all I ask from you guys is a subscribe and turning on the notification button but let's get into the analysis so Bitcoin guys the thing that I've been looking at was forming a lower high then a higher low and then a higher high that is what I'm expecting it to do if it can break above this resistance then I'll be a lot more bullish in the cryptocurrency market so let's see what happens guys that is the weekly higher pattern that we're looking at and then that is a zone I was expecting to bounce this is when I was expecting it to bounce um, but it didn't bounce then it bounced a bit later but it, we've, we've been really it's been a really good kind of prediction and then this kind of falling wedge works really well in Bitcoin you can go and test other previously when it's worked so now we're seeing some, seeing some nice healthy consolidation previously when we broke out we bang we went down and bang we went down now guys we're seeing some decent healthy consolidation so it could potentially break out again i wouldn't be buying here just because if you look we're up 15 16 percent I, I don't buy when something goes up massively i always buy when it pulls down and when i expect it to go up that is our strategy if you've been watching my videos that would save you more money than than anyone can think of so i will be like here this was a really good trade i didn't trade bitcoin but i traded litecoin and ethereum especially ethereum has been really good for me and you know this that is my strategy guys this is the techniques that I use I mean this is my main strategy I will be making videos on my scalping strategy ideas and you'll have to kind of play with it and see what works for you but this is my main strategy that I use like working looking at market structure where we are are you oversold and this is how I trade again there's a lot of videos guys let's go through them videos quickly same with ethereum guys I'm going to try to keep it on higher time frames because there's about 16 coins that I want to look at if, if these videos are too long for you guys let me know I'll try to shorten them but that is what I'm trying to do so yeah ethereum guys it's it's kind of in this zone um i won't maybe i could look to buy at this level if the moving averages catch up and i'll get there's a breakout but again i won't be buying at that level same reason as uh, as i said for for bitcoin again that would be my ideal entry around this level so around uh, 124 to 128 129 if it comes here we see bullish price action that is where i'd like to buy um ethereum guys this is the line that i'm expecting it to break out from litecoin has already broken out of that zone that I am um, I've been talking about for Bitcoin and Ethereum so Litecoin is definitely more bullish and um, I have I'm in a bigger position in Ethereum than Litecoin but I'm gonna keep an eye out for Litecoin just because it broke out keep a uh, keep an eye out for this potential head and shoulder forming and breaking down so that's why I'm not in a big position in Litecoin I'm still in a small position that I bought about a month ago you got I mean I keep going on about it because it's, it's been the best trade for me this year because although I trade like uh, old coins for bigger profits in Litecoin I played a bigger position so even a smaller percentage gives me more money and um, XRP guys like I said XRP is not as strong not as bullish you can see the pullbacks guys it's not holding going sideways it's coming back people are selling so yeah XRP is not looking as good I'm not looking to trade but someone asked me shall I sell my XRP after I made this video on XRP JP Morgan and the price action not looking good I, I told them not to sell I mean again this is not financial advice this is just what I would do as Bitcoin is breaking out I would I don't like shorting or selling at the bottom because if Bitcoin Bitcoin does break out I'm not saying it will then we'll see all the coins go up but XRP wouldn't go up as much as some of the bullish coins that's why I always trade the most bullish coin so that's a quick update so the list that I have got for you today is here so I'll see how many I can get through I'll, I'll, tr I'll try not to 
uh, go I'll try to spend about 10 minutes on all these coins uh, all together so it's not going to be more long video I've just brought, brought some uh, bought another screen so that's really cool I've bought a couple of more uh, I've got th uh, two uh, two additional screens now a again so yeah let's get into the video sorry guys for carrying on I do like technical analysis and trading so I, I, I have got a bad habit of just carrying on and carrying on so EOS guys uh, let me get rid of that so I was trading EOS on my other trading view account, so I haven't got that, but I have prepared what I wanted to show you. Again, that is that is my if you've followed me for past couple of weeks, that is a trade that you should have taken. Again, it took me two, three years to get I mean I'm I'm still learning, I'm still improving, but that is the gist of my strategy. That is where it breaks out. Again, you could be buying at the bottom. That is a trade that I was looking to get. I didn't buy it. This was moving sideways again. That would have been a nice trade as well if I was trading. Nice trade up to there, selling half, letting the other bit run. But I I did buy then some EOS at this level at this breakout. That is my perfect strategy. Although the RSI was a bit oversold, um, I did take it because it looked bullish to me. And then now it's going sideways. I've I exited. Uh, I can show you better on the hourly. So this is how I like to exit. So it's not quite a double top, but when you when I see this price action, it can't break out. I sell, um, so that's where I sold. I see how it goes out. I'm expecting an EOS pullback, but again, when something starts moving, I don't try to sell. I, I try to trade uh, in the trend direction. That's EOS, guys. Um, RCN. I've not traded this coin, but have a look at this coin. If someone's trade, someone on. Um, someone on twitter and someone on youtube actually messaged me saying they took this trade and i was a bit jealous i don't know this this coin is just a crazy coin and the reason for it for this pump is guys um no one can predict this pump to be honest i mean it would be just literally this happened because um palm beach they're a really popular newsletter they've got about i think i don't know 700 or 500 half a million or thousands of subscribers and when they release their newsletter saying that to buy a coin it just goes up although this was this has got a decent bottoming pattern look you could have bought it but there's hundreds of coins that look like this that don't break out so if you've been watching now if i was in front of my computer i could have maybe bought it again i wouldn't i wouldn't buy when it was going up like that it would it would be suicidal to buy it at this pump because it just sounds crazy this potentially here because uh, that is part of my strategy as you know but yeah this is just a crazy coin that's gone up another th coin that i wanted to show you is poly guys poly is a coin that i like long term of this is a coin that i've kind of got bags of i don't i mean i'm a trader i don't like investing but look at poly guys it just dropped it was a fake breakout i mean it probably took so many stop losses someone lost a lot of money that messaged me on twitter so it does it does feel bad so it w went down 320 percent if someone dropped an order there it's happened hit before so you might want to leave an order for poly but yeah that 320 percent is good enough for months of trading if i got that much um but yeah it's, it's kind of nasty it's not nice to see this sort of things happening so poly that's i'm just giving you a full update on what's going on in the cryptocurrency market so rcn btt and um, you can watch my previous video i i kind of put my hand up and said you know i, I was thinking btt was going to dump harder um after the lease i mean it did pull back massively so in a way I'm, i wouldn't say i'm correct or wrong i mean it's, it's just it, it's just what it is i wasn't really looking to short it um you can't you can't short btt or not that I know of but I was looking at this and I was expect I was seeing that you know it could break out I thought it would go longer comparing it to Hol holo chain but you we can have maybe another leg higher and then pull back and go sideways if you compare how usually these type of coins break out but it did, did try to break out and it's still holding so it can go up again it's not a coin that I'm looking to trade uh, there there are scalp opportunities but I'm not really looking to scalp BTT so that's a coin that I wanted to give you guys a quick update on a lot of people are interested in BTT ENG this is a coin someone asked me to look at so I'm, I'm, I haven't got my chart prepared Oh, maybe I did look at this. It's nice trend higher, guys. It's nicely trending higher, this coin. Yeah, I like this coin. Let's have a look weekly. Yeah, this is... I like this coin, guys. Can't remember who it was. Nice kind of sort of double bottom. Move up. Yeah, whoever recommended this coin, guys, this coin is looking good. If it can break this level, I mean, 
it's a bit risky whether you say that it's broken this or not but yeah I expect this to go slightly higher now I've probably missed my trade yeah 236 level mm. you can see how 236 levels hold held the coin Yeah, you could buy, could look for a short time trade uh, to run that level. So that is a potential trade. It's not my my trade yet, but yeah, this could be a coin that you can look at. But no, if you're that's a good trading, mate. You should have told me you were buying. I would have looked at this coin earlier. So well done, whoever's trading that coin. ONT is a coin that I have traded today. ONT, guys, this is a beast of a coin. You need to keep this. You need to. P put this on your watch list I've got it on my watch list actually you can see it's on my watch list this is a coin that I like to trade and it's just a beast of a coin it gave us probably that was that was a big too big of a pullback I would uh, that's not that's not the one that I bought I bought it here I'm still in a bit of a position I've taken half off that's my strategy I always take half off again this is not perfect trend line you just have to kind of eyeball it look at the volume coming in you can see this was the entry that I got in you can see volume increase uh, consolidation on low volume breakout standard strategy guys you can use this as an entry as well you can see the blue line moving higher uh, uh, stochastic is something that I use as a secondary I don't I don't base my trade on it. I base my trade on price action I can even trade without uh, moving averages because I've looked at charts for that long uh, ONT that is ONG it's not a coin that I've looked at at all ontology gas not got that much chart history yeah is it breaking is it like at the 786 or 618 level 886 I don't know about this guys it's below the moving average it's just not really me but yeah it is up to you TNT is a coin that I didn't trade um, but it's looking good TNT look at that guys that's another thing like you can see the buying pressure coming in higher lows higher lows and then bang it's above the moving averages I assume on the daily as well oh that's a beautiful trade that is a beautiful beautiful trade can't believe I missed that one yeah beautiful trade RSI and that moving higher as well yeah that's a nice trade I might I might keep this on my watch list now might look to buy this guys because yeah it is looking good so TNT ICX there's not too much going on ICX I think I'm keeping one eye on the on the time I don't want to go too long because people might not have that so much time to watch listen to me speak ICX I've still got it on my watch list guys I'm looking to this is a coin that I like long term so I like to keep it on my watch list and when I'm trading with sideways consolidation there could be a strong breakout because you know when when something goes up and it doesn't pull back you can see that there's buying pressure so there might be like a spike down it's, it's touched the 50 percent level and it can break out higher so that is icx rvn is a coin that i've traded uh, i should have rvn here there we go boom rvn the reason why I traded this was kind of the the volume that came in and um, it wasn't my strategy and it was a bit sneaky for me to trade it but this is the reason why I took it, it it's got a nice structure coming in you can see massive massive RSI, RSI kind of going up divergence here and um, yeah it looked like a really 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 good trade to me there was a massive volume coming in so that was a quick scalp that I took um, it was a nice little trade. I didn't really make that much money on this trade because I got in at the breakout. But this was a nice little trade. This was when uh, this is another t potential entry you could have got in, but I already exited. So RVN is a coin. Keep an eye out for RVN. But I think um, it needs to um, break out of um, of this 20 EMA because you, you see how how many times it's touched it and it's moved back. So it's not that good. The only reason I'm I'm keeping an eye out for RVN is you can see a massive uh, bullish divergence so that is why I'm keeping an one eye on on RVN so RVN I've got two more coins guys VChain VChain is looking good you could look to trade this guys look at that that was a nice pullback entry boom that was a nice little entry over here so RVN is a coin it's above the uh, 4R200 moving average that would that would have been a nice little trade guys if it can break above 
kind of these highs I will target this so V chain is looking good and you can see the nice bottoming pattern but it needs to break out higher guys I'm not promising anything because keep an eye out for Bitcoin this is always I always say this make sure you look at Bitcoin because you know if Bitcoin breaks down it, all the nice setups will go to go to the drain two more coins theta coin I always talk about this coin another coin that I actually got some kind of hodling uh, if you like to use that term it's above the moving averages if you see simple strategy that we always take it's not made me any profit but again you win some you lose some my stop loss is below here so I'm expecting it to carry on but yeah my stop loss is here so I'm, I think I'm might be yeah, I'm slightly above but yeah it, we'll see how this goes I'll probably take half off here I should have taken some profit here to be honest guys I didn't take any because I wasn't watching but yeah that would I'll target the previous highs and then see if it breaks out but yeah that's not it's not looking that good but I'll stick to my strategy I might move my stop loss up here because it shouldn't really break below this but my stop loss is just below here um, and I'll see how this plays out if it f fails to make new high I'll probably exit Pundix let's have a look at Pundix coin so I think one of my subscribers loves this coin the guy I've been kind of mentoring and talking at him helping him with my trading again if you have any questions guys you can email me I'll try and help you out so this is a coin that we're both looking at if it breaks out breaks up breaks breaks out above this it will be really really bullish and it's keep holding it you know coins usually touch it the daily 200 and then move back but this is kind of consolidating here so keep an eye out for pundix it can potentially break out so that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed that video again keep an eye out for Bitcoin guys if Bitcoin breaks down um, all the old coins will break down as well so have your stop losses in don't do what I did with him um, um, poly but poly's actually been working out for me because if I did have a stop loss I would have lost all my poly uh, that would have been a big loss I wouldn't I wouldn't have been happy anyways guys I've got a busy weekend I've got a couple of a special I've got a special friend coming coming over so I'll see I'll see how it goes and uh, but now I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you have any question about trading and my strategy email me below I do a free 30 minute phone call and I'll send you like a PDF if you're completely beginner because I won't be able to help you with mentoring if you're completely new you have to do the work I don't promise you'll make a lot of money like everyone else does I try to share my experience and uh, I've got two people that kind of going through going going through with it now um, and they're really enjoying it so I'll carry it on I really enjoy it one of them made a really good trade so I'm really happy with it so again hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't want to go bang on go keep going on about it I hope you enjoy it guys and um, if you have enjoyed it like I said smash that like button subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video also guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you want to win $250 worth of XRP so thank you very much guys hope you guys enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and let's see how bitcoin plays out this weekend thank you very much go bitcoin